Hey everybody, J3B here. Want to learn how you can win this cool prize pack? Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I just wanted to thank you all for helping us reach 100 subscribers. That's new for us. We're a new channel just starting out, just learning a few new things. But to celebrate, I'm going to hold a contest. All this nice swag here. Nice little pack to put on you while you're hunting. Camouflage hat to keep the bugs away. A towel to either clean relics, wipe your sweat, do whatever you want with. You can clip right to your pack. Inside this, reusable raincoat. You have a headlamp for if you're ever out digging at night. Pack of batteries because you know how much those diggers go through batteries. And this here, a tool you can use anytime. It is hand carved. It actually says compliments of Comfort in Aurelia. That's where I work. Very nice lock knife. And it even has a little flashlight on it. So it's pretty neat. So. This isn't the greatest or biggest prize pack, but I figured it's something to start off with. All you need to do is make sure you subscribe, like this video, and post in the comments if you want to enter. As the comments come in, you're going to get a number. I'm going to reply it in the message. And then on the draw, on the 15th of July, that's when I'll do the drawing, I'll randomly select a number and the lucky person gets this prize pack mailed to them. This is open to anyone. I'm not restricting it to just Canada. It's open to the States, China, whoever. Um, if you want a second entry, all you have to do is do a shout out to our channel, J3B Metal Detecting, and post the link to the video in the comments section to get an extra entry. Anyways, guys, enough with this contest. I'm going to get out and do some digging. Hope you'll stick around and join us. See you soon. Good luck to whoever uh, enters this contest. And thank you guys so much for helping us reach 100 subscribers. Happy hunting. Chat with you soon. Hey everyone. Thanks for sticking around. Doing a quick hunt in my backyard today. Found out some interesting things about this property from my landlord. He's uh, early 80s. He bought this place when he was 18. So he's owned it for a really long time. See that fence line? Way, way back in the day when he first bought it, there was actually a street separating this property from the one on the other side. And the street led to the stables that were in the back of the property. So right around this area here where all that brush is, there actually used to be a stable. There used to be a creek that ran through alongside of the street. They ended up uh, using culverts, filling it in. The river still, or the creek still runs, but you just don't have access to it. So that's pretty neat. You never know what we'll find around this way because they used to ride the horse and buggy, park everything there, and then walk up to the house. We have a bit of property here to go through. I want to check near that tree. But it's a big backyard. And I'm going to do what I can. Anyways, guys, I'll do some live digs and let's see what we can find. So it's a little dark. I ended up getting a signal right in the shadow, but we'll still do a live dig anyways. So I have it out. scrap metal. Oh, we'll recheck the hole. Oh, 
tiny, tiny little piece of metal. I'm not even sure what it is. Anyways, guys, let's see what else we can find. Hey, everybody, I had a good signal down in that hole. Guess what it was? An old hinge. Look at the detail on that. I don't know how old it is, but man, that's awesome. I'm going to keep it. Anyways, let's see what we can find next. Hey everyone, we've been fighting with this for a while. Right underneath here, a big old root, probably about three inches wide. Not sure what it is, but that's what we dug up. And that took us a good 15, 20 minutes to pull up. Not sure. But hey, well worth it. Let's see what else we can find. Hey, hey everybody, just got a good signal, got our first coin of the day. 1977 penny. Not old, not rare, not silver, but it was fun. I can't tell if I'm getting it in the focus. It's very bright out. But hey, I'll take it. Let's see what else we can find. Hey guys, we're packing it up. We've been out here for an hour or so. Found a few nice things that I'll show you in the recap at the end. But check this out. It's a lid off something. I checked the hole. There was nothing else. There was no container. Just a random lid. Going to clean it up to see if it has any markings. Not sure what it would have been for. To me it almost looks like an urn lid. That freaked me out a little bit, but there was nothing else there. Anyways, see you in a moment at the recap. Take it easy. Hey everyone. This is our only coin for the day. A 1977 penny. But we did find lots of neat stuff. Old handle to something. Some random pieces of metal, nails, bolts, stuff like that. Whatever the heck this is, I'm not sure. Washer, our old door hinge. I like this. I like the detail on it. I think it's very nice. Then there's this. Clean it up a bit. It's an old lid off something. Not quite sure. Still a little bit wet. But yeah, I'm not sure what that would be off of. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Same with this. Not a clue what this would be. Well, I'll tell you, it took us a while to get out. It was underneath a very, very thick root. But it was well worth it. I'm glad we dug it up. Be interesting to find out what it is. So it wasn't that big of a hunt today. We just wanted to do something little to add to the video. And uh, I just want to wish everyone again good luck if you enter the contest. And thanks for getting us to 100 subscribers. Anyways, guys, until next time, like and subscribe and share. And happy hunting.